name's Grandad. Hello and welcome back. Exciting week for us this week because we started the kitchen. Aidy starts doing the templates and uh, we get the base done. Well, I'm going to put some fittings in here now. Now we know where the sink's going for the kitchen. We can put the pipes in for that. So that's what I'm doing now. So I've got to drain the water off first though. So we're just going to use these washing machine taps. And the reason why we didn't do that before is because we didn't have the sink. So we didn't quite know what, what sink we were going to go for, where to put the pipes. Have you already run it out the taps? No. Out the bathroom tap? I'm not going to do that on the lights. Shall I have to go and turn them on? Yeah, just open, open it up. Just lift the lever, put it off way between hot and cold and then just lift the lever up. Them when you've got them stiff inserts in, yeah, it gives something for the olive to bite into the pipe and nothing without the pipe deforming. Another job ticked. Another one done. Getting closer to having a kitchen. We are. The next job is to cut the base frame timber down to size.
ね。Want to go down the back? In the wrong place. We know we definitely want to go down the end there. Yeah. 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 And we know the one's definitely going on the end of there. Right. So. I lose my painting area. I'm gonna put this down. So if we measure. We measure from the edge of that. Yeah. So there's oven hours in. Yeah. And then pull that on there, we know that that's where it's gonna be now. Yeah. So it's ninety one. Drawers they are, aren't they? Not bad sizes, are they? No, no, good. So, should we attach that end and that end first? Yep. Glue, glue it, glue it, screw it, and do it. It's absolutely freezing up that mm. in that workshop, isn't it? Yeah. You feel the difference when you come in here. You like doing it? I like it because it's a new one, this is sharp. Do you want me to move this back a bit? Eh?
So just pocket jill pocket jigging. So just pocket jill pocket jigging. So just pocket jill pocket jigging. Put the pocket jig on there just to do the pocket holes for joining these up to the cabinet's bottoms base. So uh, yeah, you'll see what I'm doing in a minute. I'm just gonna get the next one so they don't the screws don't hit. So it's going to mark on here so I can put those just offset into those. So that's one side. Need to do this side as well. So. set this to the depth that you need and then that just goes under the edge of the board and then lines up with the hole you're going to drill through with that little pencil mark there hasn't got to be particularly precise but This is just set to the right depth so that you don't go too deep but you still get enough screw to come through into the other piece of material and that's just an allen key that just locks onto the spindle of that to set that depth and it just goes up to that stop and these are all different sizes for different drill bits but this fits the screw heads that we've got so yeah and just plunk that in there and just drill your hole and it's as simple as that really one done Take it back down to the boat now and screw it into the base of the carcass base. But you'll see that in a minute. constantly checking uh, to make sure everything is square um, putting these braces in the back these pieces to help keep the legs square as well as having something extra for the carcasses to sit on but that was the main thing just making sure everything's square just so it don't give us any headaches when um, further down the line once we've done that I gave her all a coat of varnish I wasn't really careful doing the varnish so you might see a few <laughs> drips um, but it was just really to give it a bit of a waterproof finish being under the kitchen cupboards.
many hands make light work. So they say. Have a look on there. These assembly joints are not only being fixed to this base unit to fasten it to the floor, they're also being used to keep everything square. The reason being for that is we're having slide out drawers in the in this base frame or this kick space under the under the actual carcasses. So and because we're doing that, there's nothing at the front face of these to keep everything square. We can't actually physically screw anything or fasten anything to there to keep this square. So the reason being is we're relying really on these to do that for us. We're using these draw runners and they feel really solid. Uh, the mechanism is really uh, smooth and they are soft clothes. And the, the reason that we've chose these as well in particular is because they when they actually close to they don't sort of pop out easy you've got to have sort of a bit of a pull on the drawer so we thought that we might end up having to put like a, um, a magnet on the back of the drawer to hold it in place for when the bone moves but i think these will work out okay there's loads of different holes in there and slots that you can put your screws into like a um for adjusting the height and and the uh, front to back movement of the hinge and there's also a little tab in there as well so that um, it allows for a bit of movement on the drawer sort of from uh, left to right as you're looking down on it which gives you loads of options if it doesn't go in smooth first time there's, there's plenty of play on it so now we feel a bit confident with the runners we can get all this put into place and sealed down to the floor making sure that we've got it all straight again um, we must have measured about 30 times on each bit to get it right we also want to make sure that we've got the right measurement at the front um, so when the kickboard goes back it's level from the front to the back of the boat I think this is the only track saw that will actually give you a perfect curved line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did get it right in the end though, didn't we? Yeah. 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 For about six to go. Yeah. Once we've got it right, we cut all the sides and the front and the backs of the drawers. If we pull that out, and our floor is going to be, I think it's 22. I can't remember if it's 22 or 18 mil. The floor. Yeah. So if we if we use those blocks, yeah, we're fine because yeah. the front drawer fronts will go clear that, won't they? Yeah. And the bottom of the drawer will clear the floor. Yeah. I think 
so. Sorry. Granddad. Yeah, and so if we just pull that out and put that on there, there that should work out right, the height wise. Yeah. And our draw fronts are coming from the level of front of that on there because they're coming inside the draw front the, the, yeah. draw, the drawers because that's the best way because if you do it that way then when you pull it it's, it's less of a chance for it if you do it that way it pulls out doesn't it yeah so before we uh before we put these drawers in permanent i'm going to clean that floor yeah here's all my painting and gluing area try it We had the idea that if we got the sides in first um, before we made up the whole boxes, we could sort of like troubleshoot before then. Let's see if all that hard work's paid off or whether we've got a, a load more firewood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks like it's going all right. I've given the glue um, a wipe off on the on the boxes. That's what that little dark line is where the damp cloth has gone on the ply. I think that'll sand out when we sand it back. And yeah, when that dried, that on, was all right. It was finished. Finish on and stuff, yeah. 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 But yeah, just lining up the holes now that we've already pre-drilled in the sides. Yay! Yay! It works, it works! <laughs> By the time we get to the main carcasses, we should be experts at these. 
We set the height of this hinge with a block of wood so they're all standard length across there. Just fix these door sides on there. Draw sides. So just using that to get the height from the floor we need and then attaching these onto the cabinet. Just get that flush to the front of the runner. Yeah, the reason why we're doing, we're having the blocks on underneath is to make sure that the drawers will open once we get the, the floor, the main flooring down, the hardwood floor. Yeah. So it runs over the top of them. Obviously, we'll just set the, the draw fronts to whatever height we need, then, won't we? Yeah, it'll, just, yeah. it'll fit in like a kickboard. And they're flush up to the edge now. So, just repeat it down to the next one there now. Haley's top tip of the day was to get the uh, brad nailer and just rest it on the front edge of the worktop and then fire straight into the edge of your workpiece and it just makes the nails go in square and stops them breaking through at a funny angle so yeah I've got to give her credit where her credit's due and give her a bit of praise because <laughs> it, it, it was a really good idea because Otherwise, they do. They do. They fire through and come through at all funny angles when I do them because I've got funny hands. Um, that's where I spend too much time looking at top tips on YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when you should be doing work. <laughs> Once the frames were done, we uh, cut out the bases, and that was quite easy because we're sticking the base on the bottom. We've not done no like rebate bit to put them in on these boxes. Um, it was quite easy to just make sure that the base was square and then pulled the the edges to to make it to square yeah. to line it all up
All that storage, Grandad. All that no near my knees anymore, <laughs> Nanny. Well done. I'm really chuffed for them, are you? Yeah. Not bad for. These ones we've off. these ones we've done first and um, been pushing them in and out quite a lot. Whereas these ones have only just gone in, so they're stiffer. Yeah. So you you have to you have to do them a few times before they. That's fine. It's getting loose. Yeah. Need to work themselves in, don't they now? Yeah. I think it's just getting the ball bearings right level, isn't it? Look all that storage we've got, and that's not even the kitchen units, that's the kickboard. Yeah, that's just the extra bit that you mm. waste. A lot of work, but it's worth doing it now. It's just done. The hardest bit was actually making sure everything is square. Yeah. Brilliant. It worked. Let's yeah. get the carcasses done. <laughs> 